Hi guys! So, in this video I will show you how to install Eclipse TestNG plugin and create our first, first TestNG test suite and run our test uh, using our TestNG test suite. And I think, I think what I forgot last time, so I will show it to you, to you this time. We can also run this test not from Eclipse, but from command prompt. So let's go ahead and open our command prompt. Uh, first of all, we have to open our uh, automation project directory. So here's the workspace folder. Okay, so let's go back. That's, here's the workspace folder. Yeah, actually, I can do it like that. Yeah, now we have it. So, uh, as you remember, to run it from Eclipse, we used clean test command. But that's because Eclipse already know that this is Maven project and it doesn't really need to type Maven before. But in order to run it from command prompt, we need to type Maven first. Just MVN and then clean test test and hit enter. So basically here we're gonna see exactly the same what we saw in the Eclipse console. Our test started, the Kiko driver will open Firefox soon and here's the Firefox. Open dice and then print, print uh, dice open test test. So build successful, test run one, failures zero. Nice. So now let's add the test and G plugin to Eclipse. So let's go to Eclipse Marketplace and here's test and G plugin that we need to use. So what it say? Uh, drag to your running Eclipse workplace. Awesome. Let's just drag and drop it here. No. That's not what we need. It doesn't work like that. Let's drop it here. Yeah, now that's how it works. So let's select TestNG for Eclipse and install the plugin. Confirm. So this we don't need anymore. I accept all agreements and stuff. Finish. And Eclipse needs to be restarted. Okay, let's restart Eclipse. Is it what it said? Or I just imagined it's supposed to say that. Oh yeah, now it says restart, yep. Yeah. So yes, let's restart Eclipse. Okay, now when we have, oh, you see, you see it here, test and G plugin. So now when we have this plugin, there is another way to run our test. Just right click on the test, select run as, and here you can select test and G test. Click on it. So it switched back to the console. Test is running, oh, nothing new here, open dice, print our text and close. Done. Test run one, fail zero. But now we can see our results here. Uh, default suite because we do not have the name, default test because we do not have the name for it yet, even though the class name is first test, but it's not, the class name is here, but we don't have the test name yet. Uh, but I will show how to do it later in this video. And our first test, success. Now let's intentionally break our test. Let's, let's say, let's remove this part. Save and run again. So you can see how it's gonna look like when the test is failed. Okay, clip started. But test, oh, I mean, 
not Eclipse. The Firefox started, test failed. Firefox did not close because test failed. And here we can actually see when we switch to test ng, uh, you see the X here, test failed. We have we have the exception here, so wrong URL, not valid URL, and stack trace. So in stack trace we can see where exactly on what line of code our test failed. So here's our test, double click. So this is where our test failed. So it didn't go to this command, it didn't go to this command. So that's why we don't see this message here. And that's why the Firefox is still open because it never quit. So let's close it. Let's close it. Oh, my computer doesn't want doesn't want to work today. Let's fix our test back. Next, uh, well, let's create second test. So I'll basically, just copy first test. Wait, so that's not what I wanted to do. Paste it here and change the name. Second. Uh, let's change it to LinkedIn. So instead of dice, we're gonna open LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Let's save and let's run our test. So first test started, here's the window, dice, print command close, second test started, linked in, closed, done. So one test, two test, I don't know why it's printing two times, but here we can see so first method, second method, both under this class. Now, to make it easier to work with test ng, let's create our first test suite where we can include or exclude our tests. So let's open our browser window and go to this page. So test ng documentation. So what we need to do, we need to create test ng XML file. And we're gonna do it under source test resources. So right click new file test ng.xml. Finish. And now go back to that um, test ng documentation page and copy whatever you see here. Paste it here, make it look nicer. So let's call, oh, first sweet. And they have two tests here already. Um, we actually, we, we will not separate our test Let's just create one test. Let's call it first test. Uh, let's provide our class. Where's our class located? Com dice first test. So instead of no package test, let's type the package dot and name of our class. First test and save and let's run now instead of right clicking on our test let's run click on test and gxml run as oops something is wrong come by first test where's our oh, test yeah i see the error test yeah my, my mouse and my keyboard doesn't want to work today 
you see I typed test but it didn't register last key so again run as test suite oh basically it's, it's not different from run it from here this this time in this specific example but I will show you why it's better to use test suite so first test finished second test finished now now we can actually exclude and if you go to this page of testing documentation there are lots of interesting stuff here but right now we're gonna exclude so test methods uh, you see here include and somewhere there should be exclude also I oh, don't see it here but yeah here methods let's copy this from here or you can just type it in so under class let's paste it here classes class classes ah, okay let's make it nicer class um, well we can include we can exclude but since we have only two tests let's just well whatever let's exclude one it doesn't really matter we can uh, we can put include and put here the test name of the one we want to run or if you want to exclude we can copy and paste the name so like second test method just paste it here and it should not run it right now so when we run test ng run test suite now it should run just dice second one is excluded and we can do a bunch of stuff here in test ng yeah here it is done total test run one fails zero but now if we're gonna run our configuration without using maven oh i mean maven without using test ng plugin it's gonna run both tests it doesn't know that we need to run test ng it's just gonna run this uh oh it does how do you know it did it create here already huh somehow it knew it's it has to run the test ng but if you right click here and run then i guess it's gonna run both of them yeah you see when we're running this file so somehow somehow it's new probably because hmm, i don't really know why i don't really know how it knew that it has to run test and gxml but well whatever uh, if you run it from here it's also gonna run both tests because it doesn't know that we have to run uh test and gxml i guess it doesn't know let's see oh it's gonna start on second window where is it why so slow yeah, here's our dice test uh, oh it was it was already linked in so yeah when we run the same command from the command line it executed two tests because it doesn't know that it has to run test ng so what we need to do let's go to our test ng xml no, let's go to our pom xml file and here in maven surefire plugin we need to add this this piece of code let me give it to you yeah my mouse doesn't want to listen to me I don't know what's going on so after version just paste this so configuration sweet XML file 
and then path to our test.gxml file. So now when we save, uh, well probably let's let's update our project also. Now when we save it and when we run it from the command prompt, because we run this command, it goes to pumxml file. So when we run it from from command prompt, now it knows that it has to start. Uh, yeah, you see. So nice. And that's it. Yeah, now it knows that it has to run test in gxml file. So only one test is executed. And I think... Yeah, I think that's it for, for today, for this video. And let's, let's move to next one.